This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a well-known PCB prototype company in China. It is specialized in quick PCB prototype and small batch production. You can now order a minimum of 5 PCBs for just dollar too. For more details, check description. Hey, hello friends. Welcome to another video. In this project, I'll show you how we can build an all-in-one ESP32 weather station PCB and display all the sensors on a web server. The web server displays data from all the sensors and automatically updates the readings in every 10 seconds without the need to refresh the web page. I've designed this PCB to be a compact weather station. This PCB has a lot of features so that it can suit a lot of different projects for different applications. In fact, I didn't use all the PCB features in this project. Additionally, this PCB can also be used as a learning PCB. For designing of my PCB, I am using Easy EDA. Easy EDA is very easy and simple for designing the PCB. After designing the PCB, I directly order to JLC PCB for manufacturing of PCB. After uploading the Gerber file, software automatically detects the default settings. However, if you want, you can change these settings. Now save to cart to complete your order. After 7 days, my PCB arrived at my place. If you don't want to make a PCB, you can still follow this project by assembling the circuit on a breadboard by using these schematics. The next step is writing the code to read the sensors and build the web server. The code for this project is divided into two parts. The code in Arduino IDE to read the sensors and host a web server. An HTML file to build a web page. The HTML file should be saved in the micro SD card. This is HTML and it will build your web page. In this file, you can change how your web page looks, the headings, the tables, etc. The ESP32 will send this HTML text to your browser when you make an HTTP request on your ESP32 IP address. Save the file as index.html. Copy the HTML file to your micro SD card and insert the micro SD card in the SD card module. Copy this code provided in the description and open it in the Arduino IDE. But don't upload the code yet. Before uploading the code, you need to modify the following lines to add your SSID and password. Then press the upload button to upload the sketch to your ESP32. Make sure you have the right board and COM port selected.
Now open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 115200 and check the ASP32 IP address. Open your browser, type the IP address and you should see a table with the latest sensor readings. The web server displays the DHT22, BMP180, potentiometer and LDR readings. The readings are updated every 10 seconds without the need to refresh the web page. I hope you found the project useful. If you like this project, subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching.